do adjust your spray pressure to get bigger droplet size for pre-emerge to get it down to the ground faster, or do you stay consistent with a higher pressure for smaller droplet size and for better coverage recommended for post-applied uh, spraying? Uh, wants to know what what we do for spray pressure for pre's versus post. Well, that's a good question because it's certainly different. If you're trying to push down through a big crop or through crop canopy, you've got to have more pressure. And on the pre's, we don't have to run super high pressure there. Maybe we run 40. And on the post, maybe we run 60 or 70. Depending on what nozzles you have, that, that means a big difference uh, or that makes a big difference. So with the pre's, a lot of times we'll run lower gallons of water, uh, depending on if we're mixing them with fertilizer or just water. If we're mixing with water, a lot of times we'll end up running seven gallons of water and we're getting great coverage. If we're mixing them with liquid fertilizer, we may run 20 gallons to 30 gallons and, and mix a, a herbicide right in at the same time. Uh, in those cases, we're using pretty big droplets because we're trying to deliver a lot of volume out there and um, yeah, coverage isn't going to be an issue at all. So most of the time with those pre's, less pressure, less gallons of water. Unless we're doing a burn down, of course, uh, then, then you may need to get more pressure, smaller droplets, better coverage.